Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Mons, fought between Germany and the United Kingdom's British Expeditionary Force, located in Mons, Belgium, on August 23rd, 1914. The British forces arrived earlier in the month on August 14th, but were weeks behind schedule. Under command of Sir John French, the BEF as it was known moved forward off the Belgian coast. Before they could reach Charleroi, like was originally planned, they encountered German 1st Army cavalry patrols near the Soignies on August 22nd. Countered reports from intelligence and prearranged plans, Commander French began preparations to attack the Germans by establishing position at the nearby Mons Canal. Unknown to French though, the BEF was outnumbered with their 70,000 men against the Germans more than 150,000. At dawn, the German artillery bombardment began and continued until about 9 a.m. when the German 1st Infantry assault began. The target of the Germans were four bridges that crossed the canal, but the attack ended disastrously. One example of this disaster is the German troops at the Nimi Bridge approached in an almost parade ground formation, leaving them easy targets for the British riflemen, machine guns, and artillery. The Germans attacked again that morning, this time using an open formation that was more successful, allowing the German troops to spread out and were harder to target. The BEF was outnumbered at the Nimi and Gallen bridges and they were only able to maintain their positions due to the bravery of two different machine gunners. The Nimi bridge was defended by Lieutenant Maurice Dies of the 4th Battalion Royal Fusiliers. He maintained his position and was wounded five times, but he still held the Germans back. Sadly, he died later at an aid station from the 5th wound. At the Gallen bridge, Sidney Godley covered the rest of his men retreating. When it was time for him to retreat, he threw his gun into the canal and surrendered. Both Dees and Godley received the Victoria Cross, the first awards given out for the war. The British did end up retreating that afternoon to the south of Mons, establishing a new defensive line running through several villages. The Germans in turn had built pontoon bridges across the canal and were approaching these new lines en masse. These actions repeated multiple times until nightfall on August 24th, the BEF retreating and setting up new positions while the Germans pursued. The Germans continued to attack and this began what was known as the Great Retreat. For the next two weeks, the BEF were pursued by the Germans over 250 miles of land. The BEF lost more men in the next two weeks than at any other time since the American War of Independence. Both sides did have some success. The British were outnumbered more than 2 to 1 and held the Germans for 48 hours and retreated in good standing while inflicting more casualties on the Germans than they received. They were successful in stopping Germans from flanking the French army, and in addition, the British Army had not fought a European battle since the Crimean War, and this reassured their commanders that they would perform well now. The Germans believed they had been repulsed tactically, but had won a strategic victory. They were unable to encircle the British and cut them off because of von Bülow's fighting the French Army, but they were able to cross the barrier of the mons Condé Canal and enter France. In addition, the Germans were able to drive both the BEF and French armies back into France and would almost reach Paris before being stopped at the Battle of the Marne. Total casualties for the British Expeditionary Forces were 1,638 killed and wounded. The Germans suffered more than a total of 7,000 casualties, including 2,145 killed and 4,932 wounded. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War. 